Welcome back, everyone. Now that we've introduced ISO 19650, let's dive into one of the most important aspects, which is the roles and responsibilities. Because knowing who does what is crucial for smooth project execution and efficient and effective information management. ISO 19650 clearly defines these roles to ensure that we have a structured approach. We'll focus on three key roles. The first one, we have the appointing party. Now, this is the client, the owner, the person who is responsible for paying the bills. Their job is to define information requirements for the project, and this lays the foundation for how everything else will flow afterwards. Next, we have the lead appointed party. They manage the information and make sure that they coordinate tasks between all of the other teams, ensuring the right information is delivered at the right time. This is usually the architect or the main contractor on your project. And finally, we have the appointed party or appointed parties. These teams are the teams that execute tasks and provide the necessary information to keep the project moving forwards. Usually these are the subcontractors or some of the smaller teams, but the most essential teams for getting the work done. In ISO 19650, the process starts with the appointing party, so typically the client. They set the project requirements and make sure that clear responsibilities are communicated to everyone on the project. Next, we have the lead appointed party, usually the main contractor or lead designer. They manage and coordinate information, acting as the link between the appointing party and the other teams. And the appointed parties, like the subcontractors and consultants, are responsible for producing the project information. They work on their specific tasks and send their information back to the lead appointed party. This flow of information ensures that everyone knows what they are responsible for and how the information moves between the teams. It keeps everything organized and efficient. Right, exactly. And with this structure, information flows smoothly between all parties, ensuring there is no confusion about who does what. Let's break down how teams are structured in ISO 19650. So first one, we have the task teams. They are small focused groups or individuals responsible for specific tasks within a discipline like maybe civil or design team or mechanical engineering. They work on producing the information needed for the project. Maybe it can be drawings, models, or reports. These teams are part of the appointed party, and their role is critical in delivering the detailed, discipline-specific information. That's right. The task teams are the ones actually creating the information, but they operate within a larger structure. Above them, we have the delivery team that includes both the lead appointed party and the appointed parties. It's their job to manage and coordinate the information coming from the task teams, ensuring everything stays on track. The delivery team ensures that the right information is produced and shared at the right time. And all of these teams together form the project team, everyone involved in delivering the project from the client to the contractors. This overall team ensures that entire project is executed smoothly. Excellent overview. It's clear that ISO 19650 creates a structured approach to these roles and responsibilities. But remember, the key to success is collaboration and clear communication between all of these roles. So now let's explore how Planoly can support that ISO 19650 structure, including all of the roles and responsibilities and defining the clear responsibility matrix and understanding who should do what at what point in time. The tool allows you to define and manage roles for the appointing party, the lead appointed party and the appointed parties and give them permissions based on how you want them to access the data, how you want them to update the data and whether you want them to be able to be flexible in defining their own roles and permissions inside of their own teams. So here we can create a new team. We'll start by adding the appointed party you can easily define the roles and responsibilities for this team, and you can add team members very quickly to the team. So here we can add a team member simply by clicking, adding their name and their email address, and also defining their specific permission required to have access to certain data. Next, let's dive into the scope module where we can manage the information. We can really identify what the responsibilities are, for what parts of the project and start to assign them to specific teams and team members even. In short, Planoly's roles and responsibilities matrix is a powerful tool for managing the structure of ISO 19650 projects. It simplifies collaboration, keeps teams aligned and ensures that communication is clear across all parties. So that's a quick overview of the ISO 19650 workflow and the roles and responsibilities. Each step ensures information flows smoothly and everyone knows their role. So 
as you go through projects, you can feel confident that you're following the ISO 19650 workflow and actually getting efficiency benefits from it. So remember, don't plan late. Plan early. With Plan Elite.